All right, so now that you've figured out um, what assumptions you need to test, the rest of problem 11 is just testing your ability to interpret the SPSS output. So for part C, they are asking questions in regard to this p-value of 0.7. So it says, using appropriate symbols, write the null hypothesis that this p-value is used to test. So the main thing is, this p-value is under the Levine's test for equality of variances part of your SPSS output. And Levine's test is just <laughs> testing if you can say the two population variances are equal. So in symbols, that's just sigma 1 squared equals sigma 2 squared. All right, so next, part D, they are asking you to um, calculate your pooled standard deviation estimate. So for here, Since the researcher is using the pooled version, you just want to use this formula. All right. So <laughs> plugging the numbers in, You have 25 minus 1 times 